Welcome, and thank you for joining me for Pathfinder Kingmaker. We just leveled up our main character, and need to do a little bit of cleanup here in our quick bar. I will apologize ahead of time, because probably going to be doing some more leveling up in this episode, and if that's not your cup of tea to watch, then I'm sorry about that, uh, but it's got to be done. Uh, let's see. Where is... Here we go. Yeah, blind blindness. I want to make sure we've got that here. Okay. I think we're good to go there. Got our main spells out here handy. Uh, I want to check in at the table here and make sure there's nothing that we need to be addressing right away. I don't really want to spend another two weeks on a project. We, do, we need to rank up, I think it's our loyalty. That takes another two weeks. I'm worried about this uh, curse that's coming. I want to make sure we're, we are prepared for that. Where is it? There. Our barony will be attacked by an ancient curse in a month. I guess we could try to talk to Jod and Tristian and see there's anything else we should be doing. I know, I mean, they had the, uh, there are the, the quests for the Temple of the Elk. They wanted us to rebuild temple, but that's not going to help us with that curse. That takes 60 days. Okay, yeah, I wanted to see. So did we finish? We finished our longhouse in Tuskdale. So maybe we should be building something else. Maybe we should be focusing a little bit on our military, building a barracks. I'm not sure if that has any effect on whatever's coming with that curse. Doesn't sound really related. But we don't want to neglect our military. We get plus one stability when it's next to a longhouse. Or watchtower. <laughs> that gets a bonus when you have a barracks. And walls. Looks like that's what's going to go out here. Uh, maybe a wall.
Too many choices. Um, let's look at our stats. The, the number on the left side must be what we're getting from our longhouse. The community, divine, culture. Yeah, okay. So maybe... Maybe just building the barracks to make sure our military is where it needs to be would make sense. We did have um, somebody asked us to get more mages attracted to this area by building libraries. We don't even have that option yet. How does... Okay. Let's go ahead and put a barracks in here. Call that good for now. And then I, I need to look at Upgrading. All oh, right, that takes two weeks. Uh, yeah, I don't don't want to do that just yet. Okay. Well, I need to get into some leveling up. So, let's actually start with Jethel, because I want to bring her out, and she's probably going to take the longest to level. So I think we probably have a couple levels to give her. Yeah, she's still set at rank one, so. Um, I'm gonna try, I think. I don't know if we're gonna have like one dedicated tank, but I think maybe with she and Ragongar kind of up front and a Miri um, sort of in front or directly behind them and then a rim there for healing and support and then we'll have we have Lindsay and our main character in the back but we kind of want I want to see if we can make her a little bit tanky and give her some things to keep her alive. I may do some reading of things here and skip over it in the video.
Okay, I think we've got Jathal leveled up here. I, I did go into a couple levels in Fighter, which I thought might be good with her uh, being frontline and, and sort of our tank. We'll see how that goes. Um, she gets bravery here and gave her some shield focus and dodge and she gets the uh, she has the solo tactics from Inquisitor that lets her get the benefit of the uh, team feats even if the characters next to her don't have the same feat. So I gave her um, coordinated defense. And uh, back to back. Some armor focus. I didn't give her a weapon focus yet because I don't know what kind of weapon she's using or going to use. Maybe should have thought about that ahead of time, but we'll we'll work on that. Anyway, we'll see how this goes. And we can always respec if we need to at some point. But again, we're kind of trying trying new things and seeing what happens. Um, I like, we gave her, uh, let's see, I guess you can't see it here, but we took uh, the Bane spell, I think on the, on the previous level up, which looked like kind of a cool spell for her to have. Anyway, she's done. And she probably will be the longest one. Let's get Amiri leveled up. I think we'll stay with the Barbarian stuff. She gets a better dodge. She can no longer be flanked. That's nice. She's going to get a new feat here. For the, the skill points on Jethal, I was kind of, I'm thinking of her, her replacing Octavia, so I was kind of, um, see the, like the knowledge, Arcana, Jethal's going to be up there where Octavia was in that. And I don't know, it kind of pumping mobility in these frontline people. To maybe avoid some of the attacks of opportunity. It doesn't seem like... Like, I can't tell if athletics skill... Has anything to do in combat. According to the little tooltip here it doesn't appear to but does it affect their their armor I guess we'd go ahead and give her a point there at least for any checks we have like um, climbing over stuff And then she's kind of our highest lower nature. I guess we keep going there. Otherwise then, I guess the perception. I feel like we're kind of like waste wasting a lot of these skill points. Okay, and then she gets a new, a new feat. She doesn't have an armor focus, so I wonder if giving that to her would be wise. We 
give this to Jethal. Amiri doesn't get the bonus unless we take this. Could give her heavy armor proficiency. Combat reflexes is nice. Additional attacks of opportunity. Dazzling display. Your skill with your favored weapon can frighten enemies. While wielding the weapon in which you have weapon focus, you can perform a bewildering show of prowess as a full round action. Make a persuasion check to demoralize all foes within 30 feet. You can see your display. That sounds interesting. Let's try it. She can go out there and swing that bastard sword around and frighten everybody. Okay, that wasn't bad. Next, the Lindsay. I think we just keep going in the bard with her. This like an upgrade, oh, inspire courage. Now that's what we already had. Fifth level, at every six bard levels thereafter, this bonus increases by one to maximum plus four. Okay, so we just get a little bit better on that. She's going to get another feat. We, we are losing Octavia. So we're going to need some more trickery for disarming traps. Mobility seems like a really good one. And then, yeah, we're going to need to pump this. Um, uh, maybe this. Okay, and then maybe this would be good for her. She does end up using her bow some, and it'd be nice to hit more of those. It's weapon finesse. Uh oh. I think we want the point blank shot, but what else do we have? Yeah, I think I'm just going to take point blank shot. She gets a new spell. Cacophonous? Cacoph Cacophonous call. That could be nice. Creature gains the nauseated condition for the duration of the spell. Eagle's Splendor, bonus to Charisma.
Like, I wonder if, like, putting that on Deo to give him a plus four enhancement to Charisma, that really boost his spells. Glitter dust. Cloud of golden particles. Covers everyone, causing creatures to become blinded and visibly outlining invisible things. Any creature covered by the dust takes a minus four penalty on stealth checks. Okay. Heroism. Oh, that could be nice put on somebody. I wish it wasn't touch range. A hold person. That could be good. Invisibility. Sense of idols. Hmm. Sound burst. Blast an area with a tremendous cacophony. There's a lot of cacophony going on. Um, summon small elemental. Cure moderate wounds. Oh, she's already got that. Um, I kind of like this additional buff to put on somebody. She's kind of our buffer. Let's try that. Heroism. Okay. Next. Harim. So he just gets another feat. And the hovering on this is janky. Okay, we need to go more lore religion. Maybe some mobility for him. Okay, feet. I like the idea of the spear on him. Uh, could give him spell focus on like the healing. Um, well, this would help his summoning. Summons are pretty weak. If we're going to use those. I kind of like the idea of beefing up his spear a little bit. I feel like that's kind of a cool weapon for him. So he can be close to the front line, but not right up there. I'm going to do that. Okay, that was quick. And that leaves of the people we are going to take out 
Rigongar. So I'm thinking Jaythol is kind of our main tank, and Ragongar, I think, can be right up there, and the, the mirror image on him is good. I don't see us like putting a shield on him or anything. He gets a bonus on that. Bonus Magus Feet. Resist Energy. Limited Protection from Damage, whichever one of five energy types you select. Okay. Maybe the use magic device is good on him because we got to put the points somewhere. Uh, I just I feel like some of these seem kind of pointless on people. Maybe athletics is good guess we put it there I don't okay Arcane Strike. You can imbue your weapons with a fraction of your power. For one round, your weapons deal plus one damage and are treated as magic for the purpose of overcoming damage reduction. That sounds cool. We could give him some armor proficiency. Or f armor focus. Or we think about any of these coordinated. We give him this. He's going to be probably close to Jethal. I'm intrigued by this one though. Although he are Might be good to give he and Jethal both precise strike. Although they're not necessarily going to be flanking people. Could give him dazzling display. Might actually be nice to have 
this actually on I was thinking like he and Deo The only thing about this, I'm curious how, like, we often use that, uh, like, shocking grasp. That's different, though, from this. I think I want to try this, see how that works. Okay, and then we get a bonus feet. This might be nice. Extra attacks of opportunity. I'm terrible. I get in here and I don't like I don't remember like right now, I think he's wearing just light armor. Yeah, that must be what he's wearing. That's the only one I think that he even can wear. Maybe we should give that to him. Unless we plan to put heavier armor on him, which I don't think we I don't think we will. Let's do that. Okay, then he gets another spell. We've got the mirror image, maybe blur for putting on himself would also be good. We have, I don't think we've ever used this resist energy. That hidden up in his spell book and I've never used it. Frigid touch sounds like something that might be nice for him. He's going to be in touch range most of the time. Let's try that. Okay, that's everybody except for Octavia, Valerie, Tristian, and our mercenary. We should, I don't know, maybe we should level them up even though we're not taking them out. Just so they're not sitting here wishing that they could get to level five. 
All right. Well, anyway, sorry for the probably, I don't know, kind of a boring episode. I guess if you enjoy watching leveling up, it's not boring, but otherwise next time I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting out of this room and going and doing something, but these tasks have to be done too. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye.